And I also, um, I got, uh, well, today I uh, have an interview uh, for a new job. Oh wow! Uh, so it was in English. Well, because I'm I'm uh, I'm searching for a new job, so I can have like more time to. Um, uh, it's got it. Yes, yeah. Uh, so I so I have more time to. To uh, because I want to have more time for myself and for to to yeah for myself and for for the for the masters for, so I can move next year. Right. Um, and what I noticed uh, today is that, um, I don't know why when I talk, uh, referring uh, past events, I speak in, in present mm -hmm. a lot. Right, right. Yes, we need to practice that. I know that you know the past, I know that you know how to do it, but it doesn't come quickly. It doesn't come automatically for you. Yeah, especially when I am talking, I don't know why I speak in present. Yeah, okay. So we need to practice that, telling some stories in the past. Maybe we can do that a little bit today. Yeah, and tomorrow I have a second uh, interview. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you want to practice? If you ever want to practice interview questions and stuff, we can do that. Yes, it will be great because I think it's a good job. It's, it's, uh, it's very funny, I don't know, but it's a Canadian company. <laughs> uh, like a similar, you're already working for a Canadian company, right? Yes. <laughs> I see, cool. Cool. Okay, so why don't we we can do that today? We can we can practice talking in the past and practice interview questions. Yes. Okay. Great. Well, let's uh, let's just jump in and do that. I think that's a good idea. Um, did we already look at your CV before? I think we did, right? Uh, I don't think so. Or yet? I don't know. <laughs> mm, I feel like we did. But okay, well, anyway. Okay, so let's do interview questions. Hold on just a second. I'm gonna open up a document that I have with lots of interview questions. Um, give me just a second. I have another student named Abby. <laughs> and with her, I was also working on interview questions. <laughs> so okay. I'm going to open this document and I'm going to copy the questions that I was doing with the other Abby. Uh, hold on. It's correct to say automotive or auto parts. The automotive industry? Yes. Or you could say the auto parts industry. They're kind of similar if you want to, I guess auto parts is more specific, but, but yeah, both are correct. Automotive industry or auto parts industry. Okay. Okay, so obviously here I have, like, I need to delete some stuff because I have like all her answers, but. Yes. Okay, so um, these are some, quite, obviously we don't, we won't do all of these questions today, but um, we can choose which ones uh, would be the best for you and choose which ones are in the past. So I have a list of common questions. And then also we can think about questions that might be specific to you and your job. Uh, 
Um, well, I guess I don't have to delete all of these right now. Okay. This other, the other Abby works. Um, it's pronounced re res resume, 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 resume. Okay. This is a French word that we use in English. The pronunciation is resume. Resume. No, no. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you prefer to call it a CV, it's fine. A CV? Okay. Yeah, but we do not use the word curriculum. Ah, uh, CV is correct. You could say CV, uh huh, or you could say resume, but not curriculum. Resume. Okay. Great. Okay, so here we go. So let's look at these like general or common questions. Let's try to find some that have to talk about the past. Okay, so this one could be it's in the past. Uh, that one's not in the past. I think we'll skip that one. Uh, that one is not. I'm going to look for the ones that require talking in the past. This one would be in the past. Okay, that one could be in the past. That one would be in the past. Okay. All right, maybe we can start um, with this question. So it says, Explain the transitions in your career or in your resume. So talking about the transitions from one job to the next, why did you change? What, why, what, what was the reason for that transition? Um, well, um, the change from my first to my second job uh, was mainly because uh, PwC Mexico was uh, sold uh, to PwC US and uh, the administrative, um, uh, some administrative uh, things uh, were not very, uh, I didn't like uh, some things in PwC with the so so um, that was the reason that I decided to 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 left uh, PwC. But mainly, what I did in PwC was the same as in KPMG. Okay, I didn't quite understand that because PwC why because PwC was what. Solved. Solved. What do you mean solved? Sell. Oh, was they sold. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah? Yes. Okay, sold. Okay, PwC was sold in Mexico? Yes. Um, okay, so you were basically, you were laid off. Do you know that word? No. I think you were laid off. So laid off means that it's basically like um, let go or similar to fired, except that you did nothing wrong. Okay. You were not at mm -hmm. fault. You're not at fault. No, 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 no. All PWC, all the company, was sold to us oh okay and so you just decided to quit yes oh, okay so why did you quit because they had a lot of uh administrative uh 
problems. Uh, U.S. Um, uh, run the company in a different way. And in some terms, I like the way that U.S. how was managing PwC in some other ways I didn't like how they were thinking how the business was managing here in Mexico. And so I decided to, to leave PwC. Okay, what is it? KPMG? Uh -huh. Okay, good. So can you read this for me? Let's check. So I changed uh, from my first from my first to my second job because PwC was sold in Mexico. So I quit because they had a lot of administrative problems and the US was running the company in a different way. And I didn't really like how they were managing the business here in Mexico. Uh, that was why I decided to leave PwC and I got a quick, I got a job at, at KPMG. Great. Okay. So we're using the past, the past, the past, the past, the past, the past. Good. All right, let's do another question. Um, do you have to lead projects? Are you a leader? Um, just in two or three projects. No, they know. Okay, well, how about this question then? Um, what was the last project you led and what was its outcome? Um, I think it was uh, one year ago. Uh, during the, um, it was on March uh, 2020. Uh, and uh, I was on charge of one person. Um, and we were on Switch Santander. We were performing um, um uh socks review um socks review yeah s o x socks yeah um 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 i think uh it was well at the beginning it was um everything uh okay it was a very challenging project because uh it was my first project in um in um i don't know how to say um aseguradora with an insur with insurance insurance in an insurance company so uh it was a very uh challenging um project for me. So um, at the end, uh, we um, we deliver uh, everything on time um, as the um, as the client uh, wanted. Um, well, uh, Andy helped me a lot with everything. Uh, and well, I think I think it was that one was the most challenging project for me. Okay, all right. So I made a little bit of adjustments, a little bit of changes as I was listening to you. Okay, can you read this for me? 
is one year ago in March 2020, it has, I was in charge of one person in this project. We were working on SOX review for Santander. At the beginning, it, it was challenging because it was my first uh, project in an insurance company. In the end, the delivery, it, in the end, we delivered everything on time to the client, client satisfaction. I think that has been one of the most challenging breaks for me. I think I'm gonna make a little. Okay, there we go. Okay, so in the past, we were working on, I was in charge. At the beginning, it was challenging because it was my first project. We delivered everything on time. I think that it has been one of the most challenging projects. Great. Okay. All right, how about this question? Also talking about the past. What do you consider your biggest professional achievement? Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I, I don't think I have one in particular. Um, I think uh, to be in a big four is just to be in a constant, um, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, to be in a constant uh, challenge. So um, when you're on your comfort zone, you're on a new challenge. So um, um, I think that's like, uh, that's like uh, my biggest uh, professional achievement. Like uh, not, not being on my comfort zone in five years. Um, and tell me another thing, maybe we can add a sentence about how you have grown, how you have improved your skills? Um, for example, at first I was only able to manage uh, one project at the same time. And now I can be able to manage uh, four projects at the same time. I can sleep or I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know what I should say, quality and intensity. Uh, so that has been my biggest performance. Just working at the level of quality and intensity that is required, yes. Yes. Okay, okay, great. So can you read this for me? Uh, I don't have one particular, but I feel I, that was one question that I had for you, that uh, what's my, because I say many times, I think, because I say that word many times in Spanish, but I what I, I think, oh. but in English is more natural to say I feel. No, 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 both are okay, both are okay. Sometimes I change it, um, 
because I feel, well, in this case, maybe I changed it because um, I feel sounds a little bit more formal, perhaps. Okay. But it's totally fine. Um, or sometimes I change it so that I'm not repeating the same thing all the time. So okay. I'll, I'll kind of switch it up. So I'm not just okay. like, I think, I think, I think. Okay. But it's okay, I think. Uh, okay. I don't have one in particular, in particular where I feel um, that working in one of the big four is my biggest achievement. Working in this company means uh, being constantly out of my out of my comfort zone. And I have uh, definitely grown a lot over these last five years. At first, I was only able to manage one project at, at a time. And now I can manage four, four projects at, at a time. So that has, has so that so this has been my biggest professional achievement. Just working at uh, the level of quality and intensity that is required uh, at a big four. Good, very good. Okay, so talking in the past, uh, uh, well, we didn't talk in the past too much. There we go. I I have definitely grown. I was only able to do manage one project and now I can. This has been my biggest professional achievement. Okay, good. So here we're not using the past so much, but a little bit. Okay, another one in the past. Okay, this one is a very general question, maybe like an introductory question. Uh, yes, so uh, tell me about your experience in what would you call your position or your field? Uh, internal audit. Okay, tell me about your, tell us about your experience in internal audits. Uh, well, um, the first uh, um, two years uh, working in PwC, uh, I was uh, performing uh, internal uh, audits um, in Guadalajara in a company that uh, uh, sells uh, products uh, of um, agave and um, and also I performed uh, SOX reviews for Chrysler and J SOX uh, reviews for um, Nissan, mostly. I also uh, did uh, some uh, referrals, referrals for uh, some, for PwC India. Um, for some pharmaceutical companies. And when I joined uh, KPMG, I started to, to perform internal controls uh, reviews uh, for, for so, several um, Mexican companies and some um, Latin American companies. And I also returned to start to 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 perform um, uh, referred um, reviews. Okay, for the first two years working in PwC, I was working in internal audits in Guadalajara in a company that sells what. Agave. Oh, Harabe? Agave? Agave. Oh, that sounds agave. Okay. Huh. And also, I performed monthly, what do you say? Monthly socks reviews? Uh, yeah. I, I used to perform uh, re uh, reviews. Um, Socks reviews for for Chrysler, for or I don't know if, what it's 
better to say to to Chrysler or, or to FC FCA or to Chrysler and uh, and also J Sox. Well, uh, to Nissan for Nissan for Nissan. Okay, what did you say? I also did referrals. I didn't catch that. that? I don't know how, how it, uh, in, in Spanish we call it referidos. Uh, it's a way that we call uh, those kind of uh, engagements that, uh, for example, here in Mexico, uh, KPMG, for example, right now I'm in a referido that KPMG Italy sent to us. And um, now I'm performing the review here in Mexico City and um, KPMG Italy sent to us. So we call it referido, but I don't know how to, to translate it. Okay, so that sounds like something that's very specific to your industry. Yes. I don't know the answer to that question. Yes, I don't know. And I also don't know how to, to say it. And, per, and tomorrow I will say that word and I don't know how to. To, to 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 translate that. Okay, um, I don't know. You could check out, there's lots of different websites. You need to Google it. Um, I don't know if I wanna, do you wanna spend time figuring it out right now or can you figure it out? I now? will, I will um, take, um, I was a uh, screen. Yeah. Screenshot. You could check with me. Later. Screenshot. Yeah. Yeah. But I, yeah. I don't really know the answer, but maybe you do a little bit of investigation and then we'll check. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you did referrals maybe for, for who? Uh, for, I, I, I forgot what I said in that moment, but I did refer referrals for um, I have done for uh, for PwC India. I have done for KPMG Germany. Well, okay. in that moment, it was only for PwC India. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for the for the first two years working in PwC, I was working in internal audits in Guadalajara, in a company that sells agave. And also I perform monthly SOX reviews for Chrysler and J SOX for Nissan. I also did referrals for PwC India. When I joined KPMG, I started to do internal control reviews. I know you always like to use performed, but we could also say do, okay? Okay. You don't always have to say perform an audit. You could also say do an audit. Okay. Internal control reviews for several Mexican companies and some Latin American companies. Okay. Good. Um, let, let's do one more about the past. Maybe this one has to do with the past. How have you adapted to the COVID pandemic in your job? Um, at first, uh, it was very challenging because uh, to be 24-7 at home, it was very uh, stressful. <laughs> but um, uh, what I mean, um, I mean, uh, with time, <laughs> with time and patience, <laughs> I managed uh, to be... Uh, to be uh, home office, uh, doing home office uh, the whole time. Okay. Okay, why don't I changed a few things. Why don't you write that? Uh, at first, it was very challenging. Challenging being at home 24 seven was very stressful. But over time, I have gotten used to, I have, but over time, I, Going used to doing home office. I have a question over in the last um, sentence. Yeah. Uh, how can how can uh, we can use 
used to in a, in a, like in a present uh, way. We talked about that one time. You can say usually, I usually, or I am used to. Well, first, a, used to has two meanings. So I don't know which one you're talking about. Yeah, because in this one is I have go, gotten used to working at home. Ah, uh, but we are talking that I in the in a in a past in a past moment I got used to. Well, yeah, no recent past. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I, me acostumbré. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Now, get used to shows a process. Get used to. If you want yes. to talk about now, you say, I it's am. Usually. You, no, but you could also say, I am used to. Ah, uh, okay. So you could say, now, after one year, I am used to working at home. Okay. I am accustomed to. Estoy acostumbrado. Okay. Yes. Okay. Come <laughs> That was what I going, was going to say. How it's called uh, in English? Camote is sweet potato. Sweet potato. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I have lots of other questions here, but maybe this could be interesting for you. What do you think are your target questions in your interviews for you in your job specifically? What do you think they will ask you? Like, I gave, these are all very general job interview questions, but maybe they, for your job, they will ask like very specific things. These are the ones that they ask, like we wrote down for my other student. But what do you think that they usually will ask you? Like in your interview today, what did they ask you? Um, well, uh, the one that uh, we, you asked me, the last one uh, about my, my my CV that is the the main one. They will they also send me a very strange um, list that they want me to to investigate about the company and they told me to to write five questions and about the company. It was very strange. That's another, well, that's kind of another thing I have here. Uh, three questions that you yeah. would ask the interviewer. Yeah. Uh, they, they also, that's the first time that they, some, uh, the, an interviewer asked me that. Um, but, um, I'm not really sure what they also what what they are going to ask me. Uh, I think they are going to ask me about uh, the reviews about Chrysler, Nissan, um, more technical uh, questions. I think I'm, I'm not pretty sure. Um, like what? Tell me one. Even if I don't understand, it's okay. But tell me. Um. Perhaps, uh, what would I review to HR, for example, or I don't know. Um, yeah, what what would I review to HR, or what are the steps of an audit? Of an audit, which are the steps for an audit? I think that's the main one. Um. um um, I, didn't quite, I don't know my name. I didn't quite understand this first question. What would you review to HR? To HR, yeah. Uh, for example, um, um, yeah, and I even uh, forgot the, the 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 words in English. But for example, uh, if. Uh, I will review uh, in the payroll. I will review how they manage the. I, say, yeah. uh, I, I don't and I forgot the, the word in English, but it's how they manage uh, the contract, 
uh, this trip is out of, of a contract. Uh, okay. If they, uh, I got confused with your preposition. Let's say, what would you review in HR? Okay. Not two. Two in, in, in HR. All right. What are the steps of an audit? Mm. What is our risk? Um, um, uh, I don't know what else, what they could ask me. Right. I don't know. Uh, let's uh, look at another question. Mm -mm -mm. Does this question make sense for your job? What, what would be your strategy to achieve results in this role? Um, yes, maybe. Okay. What would be your answer? Um, well, uh, first, uh, it will be uh, like uh, to know uh, specifically uh, which are the, the, the main um, controls to review in the, in the audit. Uh, do you have the, the narratives, the walkthroughs, um, to have uh, all the information of the company in order to have the, the meetings and the, um, and the, um, and the first, uh, yeah, in order to have the first meetings of the company in order to have the, the knowledge of the process and to have the first um, reviews and then to 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 um, to to yeah, to to test the controls and to um, to have the issues and to have the first um, um, touch with the with the users in order to let them know how are the, um, the observations and get the um, get the 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 I forgot the name uh, and get the um, um the um, um the the report get the report the final report do you make it or you get it from somewhere else or um i'm i make the report Okay, so I tried to synthesize what you said. You were telling me this very big, long sentence. Okay, so we have to break it up so you it it makes sense here, a little bit. Okay, so it's more coherent. Okay, can you read this for me? Yes. Uh, first, I will need to know which are the main controls to review in the audit, to have the narratives, the walkthroughs, and all the information about the company in order to to have the meetings with the company and be aware of the process. Uh, with that, I will do the, re the first reviews, test the controls, make the contact with the users and make the final report. Okay, is there anything else? Uh, first, I will need to know which are the main controls to review in the audit, to have the narratives, the walkthroughs and all the information about the company in order to have the first meetings with the company and 
and be aware of the process. With that, I will do the first reviews, test the controls, make the contact with the users and make the final report. Yeah. Okay. By the way, this is plural, processes. Uh, it's processes? Yes, because just this is process, <laughs> one process, two processes, processes. Okay, processes, okay. All right, let's find another question. Um, how about this one, common question? Why do you want to leave your current job? Or why do you want this job, this new job? Um, I want to leave uh, KPMG uh, because I want to uh, start a new career on a company. Um, I want to leave the big four um, industries um, because I want to have more time for studies and for myself. Okay, I heard you say career. We talked about this word. Career is... Um, Okay, you wanna start a new career, um, but it's not really a big change in your career because I imagine that you're still kind of doing the same thing, right? It's not yes. changing to a, a major thing. So instead of start a new career, um, let's see, I want to, um, In, in like, um, what do you mean in a company, in a, in a company rather than an auditing? What do, what do you call what you're in right now? It's like an auditing agency or something? No, in a big four or in a consulting or rather in a consulting firm or, or in a firm. I want to leave KPMG. Okay, can you read that for me? Yes, um, I want to leave KPMG because I want to continue my career in a company rather than rather rather than in just that is not a common common uh, phrase that I read and it's strange for me. Okay, so rather than e, rather than e, <laughs> rather than rather than in a consulting firm, rather than means instead of. Okay. It's just a rather. Name. Okay, rather than in a consulting firm. Rather than okay, rather than in a consulting firm, and I want to leave the big four industries because I want to have more time for my for my studies and for myself. Good, okay. And well, let's continue a little bit. Why do you want this job, you know, the one that you're interviewing for? Uh, I forgot the name of the company, oh my God. <laughs> uh, I want to join uh, this company because uh, I think it's a good opportunity to keep uh, learning uh, and to keep uh, developing, uh, de yeah, developing myself. I don't know if it's correct to say that. developing myself and also to have uh, to have and also to have uh, balance, life balance, work life balance, work life balance. Okay, can you read that for me? Uh, I want to join this company because I think it's a good opportunity to, to keep learning and developing my skills 
and I think it will give me a will give me the opportunity to have a more healthy work life life balance. Great. Okay. Um, let's see. How about this question is pretty basic, but maybe they would ask you, tell me a little bit about yourself. Very open question. Um, um, I like to, well, I'm, I like to be a, a lot of time at my, at my house. Uh, I don't go outside too much. Um, I used to go a lot of, a lot of, yeah, I used to go a lot to the to the movies, but now I don't go. <laughs> and um, I play Nintendo. Um, uh, I go sometimes with my dog to the park. Um, um, and I. Um, and, well, I think I stay too much time at home. Okay, so let me give you some suggestions for this question. Let's talk a little bit about your personality. Like, how would you describe yourself? Boring. <laughs> and then also, then we could also talk about your hobbies or what you do in your personal time. Also, we can do that. But um, let's, let's find some very positive and attractive ways and confident ways to talk about your personality because you have to be, you have to sell yourself here, right? <laughs> um, 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 I well, I'm very, um, well, I think I'm very joyful or I know how to say it. I'm very, uh, very, uh, I'm very, like, yeah, I'm very joyful. I'm not very uh, outgoing person. Yeah, I will, I'm very, uh, I'm not very outgoing or I don't go to parties and the rest of where I, I stay more at home and I'm very, joyful um, um yes i think um uh yeah i think i'm like that <laughs> okay let's hear I, another idea to help you how would your co-workers your friends or your family describe you what do they usually say about you uh for it helps that i'm funny um that i'm always uh for them uh that i'm very um that i, I don't know how to say it lonely <laughs> uh you spend time on your own yes Okay. Okay, how about this? I think this is an okay answer. Can you read? Uh, I think I will describe myself as joyful, happy, and funny, and supportive with my with my family and coworkers. In my personal time, I like to play Nintendo while with my dog, and I like spending time on my own own at home. How does that sound? It's different as I was talking. <laughs> well, is that correct? Is that accurate? Yes, that's accurate. <laughs> okay, I think that's a positive way of describing yourself. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Um, what else? How about this one? Where do you see yourself in five years? 
Um, I see um, myself with a um, master's and uh, I'm performing the CIA. Well, I'm doing the CIA. What is the CIA? Uh, the Certified in Internal Law. Um, okay. Uh, and where do you do that? Like, in a, is that a certification or what is that? Yes, it's a, it's, an, it's a certification, but it's a three test. So perhaps I will, I won't have the three exam path for perhaps one or two, or I don't know which, which part of, of all the process. Okay, okay. And Maybe not the three, but. Some... And what about professionally? What, after that, after that, what do you hope to do? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> okay, so you got your master's and you, you're you passing the CIA exams. Yeah. And what do you plan on doing after that? Like, what are your professional or career goals beyond just the education part? Um, I'm also uh, working on a company. Uh, Yeah, we're working on a company uh, in uh, in the internal audit uh, team. Okay. Do you have like leadership goals? Like you want to be a manager, director, or something like that? Yeah, I, I would like to be a manager. Cool. Good. That sounds nice. <laughs> That's what they like to hear. Okay. Um, how about these? These are difficult questions. These are good ones. Your biggest weakness, your biggest strength. <laughs> um, I think, uh, well, I, yeah, I feel that my biggest um, weakness are that um, I'm not very into uh, tax. Um, yeah, into tax. Um, I don't know how to say tax. Tax. Um, tax skills or into tax. Uh, into tax law or into tax uh, environment or into tax uh, uh, regulation. No, uh, it's just that I'm not very into into that kind of reviews or into that kind of uh, knowledge. Tax reviews. Tax reviews. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's my well, well, one of my biggest uh, weakness. Okay, and what is your biggest strength? Uh, that I have been in a lot of industries, um, mainly in the automotive. I have been in a lot of uh, automotive. Uh, I have been in a lot of automotive uh, companies. Okay, can you read these two for me? Yes, uh, I feel that my biggest weakness is that I'm not very experienced at tax reviews. Uh, my biggest strength, 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 
strength, strength, strength is that I have worked in many different, many different industries. And particularly, I have a lot of a lot of experience in automotive industry. I have worked with several different automotive companies. Good. Okay. Okay. Well, I think that this will be helpful for your yes. next interview, but we can continue with this practice next time. All right. Well, we didn't, yes. so we didn't have time to do this today. And, yeah. Um, okay. But maybe we'll continue this in the past, in the next class. Um, okay. Um, so you're going to check about the how to say that in English. And yeah. so maybe um, Okay. okay, so um, here's more questions here. And then and these are three questions for the interviewer and some key professional terms that you might want to use. Okay. So we can continue that, that next time. I think also next time we'll continue practicing speaking in the past, okay? And then um, really we need to do this also, but um, maybe we'll do that together in, in class. Yeah. Okay. 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 Great, Abby. So I will see you. Um, when am I seeing you? On um, Thursday. On Thursday. Yes. yes. Okay. Very good. All right. See you then. Bye. Thank you. Sure. Bye, Abby. Bye.